Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. In this short tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can make this glowing, pulsing text effect in just a few minutes directly in PowerPoint. So let's jump straight into it. As usual, we'll start off with a blank presentation. So we'll go to File, New, Blank Presentation, right click, Layout, Blank. I'm quickly going to paste in the colours I'm going to use. I'll set up my background by right clicking Format Background going to solid fill and then just picking up this very dark color that I'm going to use here. Now let's add the text. I'm going to use fig tree black for this and set it to 180 point. Align it to the middle and the center. Then go to text options. I want to set it to no fill for the text fill and then for the text outline I want a solid line that's white and it's going to be three point width. Now we can add the glow effect. So we'll make sure it's selected. Make sure we go to text options rather than shape options. Then click on this middle A icon that is the text effects. Go down to glow. Then we'll go to glow color. And I'm going to use the eyedropper to choose this aqua color here. That looks pretty good, but it's quite strong for my tastes. So I'm just going to drop the transparency down to 80. You can choose whatever you think looks good and I'm going to have the size on 10 point. So there's my glow effect. It's looking good. We'll now just add the ovals. So we'll go up to the shapes and select oval. Click anywhere. We'll go to the size. And I'm going to make this 12 centimeters high by 42 centimeters wide. Drag it up into position, which is about there. Make sure it's centered. And then give it the same effect as the glow text. So that will be no fill, a white outline, three point. Then we'll go to the glow options, size 10, transparency 80, and make sure that we've selected our aqua color. I'll move this up a little bit and then hold down control and shift to make a duplicate. And then while they're both selected, which I can do with shift click, I can hold down control shift and drag these to the bottom to make a copy of them. Now let's add the animation. Firstly, we're going to add it to this glow text. So we'll click on it, make sure we're in animations. And then for this, I'm going to choose pulse either from here or add animation pulse. We'll make sure the animation panes open, double click on the item, go to timing and choose to start with previous. This will mean that as soon as you go to the slide, it will start playing. And then we'll set repeat until end of slide and duration one second. So now let's play that. Looking good. Now let's add the animation to the ovals. And then I'm going to quickly show you how to make variations of this. So we'll click on one of the ovals. And for this, I'm going to use a motion path, add animation, motion path. Then I'll click this little black dot. Hold on to shift and drag it up. That's its end position. I want it to end about there. In the animation painter, we can now double click on the item, go to timing, choose with previous, duration of half a second and repeat until end of slide. Then go to effect, give it a smooth end and auto reverse. So this will mean that it moves down, slows down with a smooth end, then reverses back and takes in total one second, which is the same time as the text animation that we've just done. So we'll click OK, play this. Looking good. We'll now use the animation painter to copy the animation to the other ovals. So I can click on the oval that's got the animation, either go to animation painter, or as you can see there, you can use Alt Shift C to copy it. And that's a good shortcut. So I'll press Alt Shift C, then when I roll over the other oval, you'll see a little paintbrush appears. And when I click on it, it will add the animation. And I can do that to the one at the bottom. But the one at the bottom, we actually want to turn around. So I'll click on this animation, go to effect options and choose reverse path direction. Then click on it again, Alt Shift C to copy the animation. Roll over this one and click. And I want to make sure this comes into the screen. So I'll just drag it up a bit. 
These can both come up a bit, so they're a bit closer to the above animation. I'll just bring these ones up a tiny bit as well to balance it out. Nice, there's our glow animated text effect. We'll quickly just duplicate the slide to make variations. So we can click on the slide, Control D to duplicate. I can just then select the text and type anything and then make sure it's centered. And then you can see how easy it is to make variations once you've actually made the animation and the slide just by using duplicate. The final slide we had said effect. Again, just make sure it's centered. And there you go. Easy way in just a couple of minutes of making a pulsing animating text effect directly in PowerPoint. And as a bonus, I'll show you how you can quickly output this to video in case you want to use it in your social media or anything else. You can go straight to file, export, then create a video. You can choose whatever size you want here. I normally output it at Ultra HD because that gives a nice smooth 60 frames per second frame rate. And then create video. You can click export and then you'll see the progress bar down the bottom. As soon as it's finished, you can open the video and use it in whatever you like. If you'd like to download the source files of any of my recent tutorials, there is a link to my Patreon in the description below. Thanks very much for watching. If you liked the video, hit the like button. If you want to see more, click subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.